you started off by, in the ending session there, saying by out of sight, out of mind. Yes. And we sort of put these people away, nursing homes or whatever, or even in our own homes, and therefore it's as if they weren't there. They're invisible. So, so this is an invisible cohort of people yes. who are suffering themselves. And then you said, and I think this is sort of the center here, maybe if we define the disease as a co-disease, we might get somewhere because the person who's caregiving is as much a victim of the disease as the person who has it. Yes, I agree with you completely, Jay. And there are three times as many of those. So the numbers are even more explosive when you think of it that way. So it's a, a, a cohort of four. It's, it's almost like we don't have a word for it. We don't have a word for a disease that afflicts a group as a, as a group that's con as a connected group. No, Maybe Maybe this calls for some of the marketers, you know, to sort of say, how do we talk about this? Because as we've learned from words, the slam poet started us off with words, when we don't have words for a problem, we essentially don't have mobilization for it. I agree with you completely there, too. I think the issue of how we talk about this is crucial. But I also think it's important who talks about it. In my dreams, I imagine an Al Gore arising. Mm -hmm. to give people the awareness you have terrible of this. <laughs> so, but maybe it's not an Al Gore. Maybe, maybe there will be a celebrity that does it, but that maybe. model is, has other choices. Yes. With, with Twitter and Facebook, with the social network, we have a, a world connected, and you have a problem that's about a social dimension. Essentially, Alzheimer's is a social disease, and the friends who have the disease are the people who are the caregivers. Maybe we can take the language from there. It's possible. That hasn't been exploited for this disease really at all, which is one of the reasons I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I mean, it seems, and one of the things, you know, that one, of the, one of the questions I got from the community here was that they said, the caregivers are exhausted, but the kids aren't exhausted. The grandchildren aren't exhausted. The grandchildren who want to know their grandparents or great-grandparents, maybe they become part of the lost cohort. Maybe this is the first disease we redefine as a social network style disease. And that might give us an angle to talk about it in a whole new way. It's an angle that's not been tried. Well, that's something to think about. Greg, thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing that with us.